Um, so a huge majority that you took there in Tiverton and Honiton, was it tactical voting or just something else? Um, I think it was something else. I think people were very upset about our Prime Minister uh, and they wanted to send a clear message to Conservative MPs that Boris Johnson has got to go. But there was also a really positive vote for the Liberal Democrats and our candidate Richard Ford, uh, who lived locally. He'd served in the British Army as an officer for 10 years. I think a lot of people liked what he was saying. They liked what the Liberal Democrats are saying. Our proposal for a uh, VAT cut to give uh, the average household £600 to cut inflation. Uh, people liked that. Uh, and I think so. there was a really positive vote for the Liberal Democrats there. Because you really did leapfrog Labour, didn't you? I mean, you came third in the last general election. You lost badly, you lost your deposit in Wakefield this time round. How do you explain that? Well, I think in Tivs and Harton, um, as I said, it was a very positive vote for us. There was also a message to Tory MPs. Um, but what was really clear in Tivs and Harton, it wasn't so much uh, Labour voters voting for us, though we're obviously grateful that they did, um, it was switching Conservatives. We would never have won that seat. Um, if we hadn't persuaded a lot of former Conservative voters to vote Liberal Democrat. So, and so what was interesting, and, and Conservatives don't want to admit this, they want to blame it all on tactical voting. Uh, the reality is we couldn't have won that seat, impossible to have won that seat, if we hadn't uh, persuaded a lot of former Conservatives to vote for us. And they did in their droves. And that should be really worrying Conservative uh, MPs. And it's one of the reasons why I think Liberal Democrats can do well at the next election. There are a lot of lifelong Conservatives who are looking at the Liberal Democrats, like our plan on the tax code, on, on a lot, whole range of issues, and they are switching to us. And that is why I think Tiffin Honiton isn't just a, a one-off. And of course, we've had three by-election victories in the last 12 months. We've had a great set of local elections. And that actually tells a story of the Liberal Democrats being the ones to take seats off the Conservatives. But your vote collapsed in Wakefield and Labour's vote collapsed in Devon. Is there some sort of deal with Labour, no. informal or... No, nothing, no, no formal, not, nothing informal? Not at all, because if you look at the seats we need to win at the next election, that we can win the next election, we've got to persuade a lot of former Conservatives to vote for us. And that's what we're doing very, very successfully. Now, the truth is, uh, it's our responsibility to beat as many Conservative MPs at uh, the next election. We've got to get rid of this Conservative government. They don't have a plan for our country. They're failing our, our country. We need a change of uh, direction. Uh, and, and I think you're seeing the voters work out for themselves who to get behind if they want to punish Boris Johnson and the Conservatives. That's happened in the past. I think it's happening increasingly so. And that's certainly what we saw in Tifton Honiton. And before that, Chesham Amersham, where we won uh, a year ago in True Blue Buckinghamshire, beat the Conservatives there, and North Shropshire just before Christmas, where we beat the Conservatives in a seat they'd held for 200 years. So voters can figure this out for themselves. And I think it's quite a, 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 a relief for many people that they can beat the Conservatives and send a message uh, that Boris Johnson must go.